Okay, so today we're going to be learning about the distributive property. So this is on the top of workbook page 486. So the distributive property is when we have multiplication and addition or subtraction. So let's add those words or subtraction. So when we have these two operations combined, we can use what's called the distributive property. So if you look at the example of here, we have two times seven plus four. So normally you would solve this using PEMDAS and you would solve what's in the parentheses first, which is 11, and then you would do two times 11 because a number next to a parentheses means multiplication and then two times 11 gives us 22. But another way to solve this, two times seven plus four, would be to use what's called the distributive property. So because we have multiplication and addition or subtraction, we can use the distributive property. And that's where you distribute the number on the outside to every number that's on the inside. And to distribute, that means to multiply. So if I distribute the two, to the seven, I would multiply them. And then I would distribute the two to the four, and then I would add. So now if I simplify this, two times seven gives me 14, two times four gives me eight, and if I add those, I get 22. So these two methods result in the same answer. And I know you're thinking, why would I do this long method when I could just do it this way? Well, sometimes we can't simplify what's in the parentheses. So if we can't combine what's in the parentheses, then we need to use the distributive property. So now on the bottom of page 486, you could see an example of where we can't combine what's in the parentheses in problem D down here. So if we want to simplify letter D, eight times X plus three, since we can't use PEMDAS, we need to use the distributive property. So we're gonna to need to distribute the eight to the X. So that means to multiply them. And then we're gonna to need to distribute the eight to the three. And again, that means multiply them. Whatever operation we have in the middle, we bring down, so this is addition. Now we can simplify. Eight times X is just eight X plus eight times three, that's 24. Now we can't add something with an X with something that does not have an X. So we would just leave our answer like that. So our final answer is eight X plus 24. Let's try letter E. So we have five times nine plus x. So we would distribute the five to the nine. That means to multiply them plus distribute the five to the x, five times x. Then five times nine is 45 plus five times x is five x. So this answer is correct, but the proper way to write it is to put the part with the variable in front of the number that's by itself. So we want to write it as 5x plus 45. Again, you can't add something with a letter with something without a letter. Okay, this next one we're going to change to 4 times x plus 2. And now we're going to solve using the distributive property. So we have 4 times x plus 4 times 2 which is 4x plus 8. Now we're going to go to workbook page 488. And we're going to do 2, 3, and 4, but we're going to change them. So we're going to change number 2 to 3 times x minus 1. Change number 3 to x plus eight times five in the back, and number four to four times two x plus six. 
So let's go to number two. So we're gonna solve three times x minus one. We're gonna distribute. So three times x, but in this one, we're gonna bring a minus sign and then three times one. So then we get three x minus three times one is three. So if you have a subtraction symbol in the middle, it's the same steps, but you should have a subtraction in your answer. So three x minus three. We cannot subtract something with a variable with something without. Okay, number three, even if the number's in the back, you still distribute it the same way. So we still have five times x plus five times eight, which is five x plus five times eight is 40. Okay, number four, this is four times two x plus four times six. So you can multiply something with an x with something without because these could be split up. So four times two is eight, and then eight times x is eight x. So four times two x is eight x, plus four times six is 24. So this one would be eight x plus 24. One other type of problem you might come across is with different letters or variables. So if you were to distribute this too, you would get two x plus 2y, and you would not be able to add those because they're different letters. So if you come across different letters, they cannot be added. So you would leave your answer like this.